Hello everyone, thanks for tuning back in. This is Eric, KJ4YZI, and I'm still impressed. The last couple of months I've had this ICOM ID52 handheld. This is my daily now. I take this every time I leave the house. I use it all the time. Um, I did buy it from Gigaparts. They did do the Mars Cap mod for free for me. So I use it for work and GMRS as well. So I can transmit outside of the ham bands. They did that for me for free. Um, but this radio still is really amazing. Um, I'm gonna show you one more uh, feature on here with using the app on your smartphone, how easily I could load the entire repeater database in there and control the radio from the ICOM app on my phone. Um, we've showed you a video in uh, previous about the picture messaging where I could take a picture on my phone and I could send it over D-Star, whether I'm using a hotspot or a repeater, to somebody else. I used my IC705 uh, to show the picture transmitting, but I haven't done that too much because there's a lot of people that are not interested in the picture messaging and I'm not sure why. But the, the app, and being able to load the repeater database and adjust other settings and look on a map and see nearby repeaters on D-Star with your cell phone or tablet via Bluetooth from your radio and from the app, it's pretty amazing. So I'm gonna show you that right now. As far as the ID52, I have dropped it about two times. It didn't land, you know, detrimental on an antenna or anything. Still no scratches on the screen. The speaker is still, uh, very good for me because if I work in a noisy environment at a tower site or something, it really does have the audio that I need. And that's not what the ID51 had or some other radios that I've had where it was hard to hear. So the battery life, after using it a couple months, you know, I end up charging it every couple of days. And if I forget to charge it, I don't, I'm not on it 24 seven, but when I'm using it, the battery indicator seems to be sufficient for the radio so that if it says you have two bars, you know you've used it for a couple hours, been on standby, and that, you know, sometimes the Chinese radios, when you have three battery bars and it'll stay like that until it's ready to die and then it's gone. Not the case with the ID52. Uh, if it says I have one bar, I know I have at least a little bit more time. I did leave it in my truck on by accident uh, for a night and then the next day, oh wow, I shut it off, but then I still used it that day for testing at tower sites and stuff like that. So. I'm very impressed with this radio. I have to say, I waited for this. I'm impressed with it. Let me show you the app features on here real quick with this ID52 handheld. Okay, so with the app, there's one thing I want to tell you is that uh, there was some confusion or issues with some people on connecting the Bluetooth from the radio to the phone. You do not want to use settings in your phone. You know, normally you'd go to settings and you would go to Bluetooth and you would connect it in here. You don't want to do that because it, it, it glitches out. It won't let you connect. What you want to do is you want to download from the app store the RSMS1A app, okay, from ICOM. And when you download this app, I'm going to shut the app off just like so I show you what it looks like uh, here. Okay. So when you when you you have Bluetooth on on here on the cell on the uh, radio, okay, open the ICOM app and it's going to ask you what radio do you want to connect to? And it's gonna give you the option for Bluetooth connectivity in the app, all right? So you see right here, these are a lot of the radios that you can connect with the app. We're gonna choose ID52 Bluetooth, okay? And then it comes up with the Bluetooth paired device list. I've already done this before. But it's gonna ask you in the beginning, what do you wanna to pair to? We're gonna to pair to the ID52. Now you see how easy that connected? There's people out there, and, and I, I dealt with that. I had to factory reset the radio to, to eliminate that. You don't want to connect it to um, the, the, the phone in settings first. Now, when you're in here, this radio is on, see? Radio is on, and you can see that the app is imaging what I'm seeing on the radio. So this is cool because I haven't programmed, uh, I haven't bought a programming cable or anything for this. Don't need to, got the app. So if you wanted to, control your radio from the phone. Like for instance, I can click here and I could, you know, if you want to do use reflector or link to or unlink reflector, everything gets set on the radio when you do that. Watch, watch this, reflector, use reflector. See, it changes right on the radio. That's pretty cool over Bluetooth. And then if you want to do the from, you know, if you want to do near repeater, you hit this and it gives you all the repeaters in your area based on the GPS of the radio. So 
if you want to click on Orlando, boom, there it is. It set the radio to Orlando, right? I do know that some of the repeater database may be out of date, and I'm not sure whose fault that is. If that's ICOMS or somebody else, I'm not sure, because there's some radio uh, repeaters that do not exist anymore. But that's just one thing. Let's go over here. In this app here, you have some other options. For instance, like I said, share pictures. If you want to do picture messaging, you can go into picture messaging here, and you can choose, you know, the the you know, touch for one second. So select the picture. You can choose it if you want to take it from gallery or if you want to, you know, take a picture on the fly right now. That's picture messaging. But check this out. So you can go to text messaging. This is something that a lot of people didn't know you can do. If you, and I did this with my ID5100 because I had the Bluetooth in it to John KM4MCK with his ID51 because he had the cable for his phone or whatever it was to his computer. You could text message and it'll look like a group text or, or like a, a text chat here while you're talking on DSTAR. What is that useful? Well, you know, in ham radio, we don't keep secrets. I mean, you could be like talking to somebody at the same time, texting them, hey, you know what? Uh, this, you know, if you don't want to broadcast over the air, it's not really meant for like secret stuff. I mean, you could just text and not talk. But then again, why would you have a radio, right? So it, the possibility does exist. And this does happen over DSTAR. When you're talking, it's sending that data stream while you're talking with the text messaging. So if I went like this, you know, I'd set the receiver to, uh, you know, if I wanted to do it over a repeater here, if anybody was listening and had their app ready, if you have a friend that has an ID52 and you have one, you can do this. Um, you know, direct input if you want to send it directly to a certain uh, specific target or whatever, and you can send a text, you know, hello, and it would, here, transmit. Now that just transmitted. Of course, I'm not near Orlando, so it's not gonna go over to anybody, but you see how it looks? And if somebody came back, it would be a little bubble over here. It looked like text messaging over DSTAR. Pretty cool. Let's go back here now to the map. The map is very interesting. A lot of people say, what DSTAR repeaters are in my area? Well, when you load the app, and this does use cellular, uh, I am on Wi-Fi, but it will give you an idea of where you are, I'm in Vero Beach, and you can see the repeaters here. If I chose that repeater, that's the Vero Beach repeater, okay? I could click it and choose set the two. Boom. Okay, or if I was wanting to talk to the repeater in Vero through the Orlando, but we'll, we'll do it this way. Go back to map, and I'll set that like this. Click on the map. Click on this from Vero Beach. And then the two I'm gonna to set to use reflector. There you go, okay? You can do that from your phone. But in the map, if we zoom out, there you go. Someone said, oh man, there's not a lot of D-Star repeaters out there. Look at this, look. Lots of D-Star repeaters. And it will tell you if it is the 1.2 gigahertz repeater, a UHF or a VHF, okay? Up in Canada, let's zoom out a little more, let's see. All right, let's go over here. Look, look in Europe, D-Star repeaters galore. And if you zoomed in and you live in Europe, you can go like this. Here's a two meter repeater, boom. It gives you the call sign of the repeater, click on it, and you have the options to select a repeater, okay? So the map function is cool if you are traveling and you wanna see what repeaters in your area. No need to download some sort of database or program into your radio and say, wow, I'm traveling to Washington State. Well, you can look on here and see exactly what repeaters might be in your area. And as you're traveling, you'll see your little GPS dot there. Okay, pretty cool stuff. So, the, and okay, so I just saw this now, the offline map. You can do this offline. It might download the map to your device in case you're in an area where there's no cellular available. Okay, so you can set other things, your call sign. Things like this, sometimes require um, your programming software or cable. And in this situation, you can do it right here. You call sign your name and add that to the radio settings, okay? Repeater list, this is what I wanted to tell you right here. Now this is all the repeater list of where you are if you wanted to look at what repeaters are available. But if you go like this and you go to import, select the content you wanna import. We're gonna do a repeater list because 
Maybe your radio doesn't have a repeater list or maybe your repeater list is out of date. Watch this, download from the internet, from the ICON website, ready? Watch this, only takes a second. Overwrite the current repeater list, yes. Import completed, it's done. Now at that point you can go into DR mode, right? And you can go to repeater list right here and you can choose what repeater you want in your area. It all had, I remember back in the day when I had to get an SD card and I had to put it in a computer and go to the website and download that. It all happens over the app via Bluetooth. That's what's cool about this radio. If they add or subtract repeaters from the database, I can do it right from my phone, okay? That is pretty cool. And then if you wanna to export to somebody else that doesn't have that, you can export the repeater list right here, okay? And there it goes. It's completed. It's on my phone right now. I can export that to somebody else if I need to. Let's go back here, a couple more things. So the Bluetooth, uh, here, uh, transceiver settings. Select anything here that you want in your transceiver. Output power, high, medium, low. DV data, if you want it auto or you want it you know, uh, only on PTT. If you want the GPS internal or manual entry. Some people don't want to be followed, so they could you know, change manual and just leave it at their whatever discretion. DV transmit message, um, you know, that's mine, ID 52 Vero Beach. That's what you'll see when I key up and it shows up on your display, it'll show you what is on, you know, what my message is. It could be, hey, 7-3 or I suck or whatever you want to put in there. That's the message, okay? DV fast data, uh, you choose, I usually choose that because that's a faster data rate. And the last, here we go, applications, one more thing here. So these are four different things. If you're in the UK or somewhere else, you want to change this to knots or if you're, you know, aviation or water or kilometers per hour or whatever, okay? Wind speed unit. Uh, because, you know, there's, there's stations out there uh, via APRS that will transmit their weather data and you may want to see that in kilometers per hour instead of miles per hour, all right? Last year, Bluetooth connection. Uh, if you don't have it connected, that'll give you the options of what you want to connect. If you have an ID5100 with Bluetooth, ID52 and an IC705, you can choose what you want to connect here. So the bottom line is, real quick video on what the app does. And here's DR mode here. So again, if you, you know, it'll show you on the screen some information, you know, information as if you were looking at the radio. Some people want to put this on a tablet on their dashboard instead of having to hold this in their hand. And then you can put the, the radio in your seat and control it all from right here. So the ID52, I'm in love with this radio. It really is amazing. Um, if there's any other updates in the future, this will be the third video about it. I really think it's worth the money because of the features that it has. Somebody else told me a few days ago, wow, D-Star is dead anymore. Everybody's on DMR. Wrong. I only use D-Star. I'm not saying D-Star is better. I think it's better. I'm not telling you it's better. But I don't have a, I do have a DMR handheld somewhere around here. I don't have any more Fusion handhelds at this point. I, I sold them. It was cool. It was new. But I moved on. Uh, I have this and the 705 for D-Star as far as I come. And uh, I'm really happy with this radio. So it's been holding up quite well. See, I haven't charged it since yesterday. Look at the, the screen here. You see the, the battery. Still got two bars. And that's a true two bars. A lot of people had issues with Chinese radios where they said, wow, you, know, you, you got three bars and you don't know when you're half. But that is half battery. Okay, That is a very uh, true to detail you know, display here on if your battery is running low or you're half battery. I know I could probably make it a day on that. Um, that's listening for a while, letting it sit on standby. I'm not really on the radio much these days transmitting constantly where the thing heats up. I used to do that, but lately I'm just working and busy driving. So there you go. The app settings and features with the RS MS1A app from ICOM on the ID52 handheld. 7.3 more videos are on the way. This is KJ4YZI. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com.